Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Jungle World. So in today's video, we are going to see Throttling. Okay, so first let me open the Django-Framework.org website and here I'll go to API Guide and I'll click on Throttling. Now here, if you scroll down, you can see the, these are the global settings for the Throttling. So I'll just copy this one. Go to VS Code, go to settings.py, scroll very down and paste that over here. Okay, just remove it. We need to paste that below the default authentication classes. Okay, yeah, here. So, here it basically imports the unknown rate throttle, which is for anonymous user, and user rate throttle for authenticated user and these are the default throttling rates this means anon rate throttle means anonymous user can spam 100 requests per day and authenticated user can spam 1000 requests per day you can modify this request so here i will say 5 and here i will say 3 or let's say i will say 5 and 10 okay so once this is done let's scroll down and I guess we have applied the settings for this one. So I'll go to Thunder Client. Before that, I'll go to views.py and let's say the view which allows us anonymous request. Get request though. So here I can go for is authenticated or read only. So this is block create list view. Okay. So I'll go to the Thunder Client collections and inside the blog i'll say blog list okay so i'll just turn on the server i'll say python manager.py run server once the server has been started i'll send my first request see i am anonymous user over here okay so i am not sending any type of token or anything I'm just anonymous so I'll say one two three four five six you can see the request was throttled expected availability in this much seconds okay so I hope you got idea about an on red throttle so let me go to the JWT login okay well, here i need to increase the throttle for anonymous user because i have exceeded the number of requests globally so here i'll go and i'll say 10 and 15 and i'll pass my credentials and i'll send the request so i got my tokens now i will again here say 5 and 10 okay so i'll copy this access token and uh, i'll go to the comment list and here i'll replace the current token okay so here i have pasted new token and now i would be able to you know send the post request so let's say i am creating the new category or let me just send get request i'm confused i don't know why okay so if i send one authentication was not provided why and okay so here just go to auth and here barrier and paste the paste your token over here and you would be fine so for one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11. You can see authenticated user allowed 10 requests, which we defined over here. Okay, here. So I hope you got idea about this one. Okay. So if you don't want to do this, you can just comment this out. And you can also 
throttle particular class if you want so let's say just uncomment this we don't need to comment this one because this is the scope of the throttling you just need to comment this user rate and unknown rate okay so if i go to blog app underscore app and i need to import from rest underscore framework dot throttle import user rate and unknown rate so here in this case let's say i want to restrict this blog list create view so here i can say throttle underscore classes you must use this variable otherwise the throttling is not going to work okay and here, here i will say user rate throttle and a non rate throttle okay so this now the throttling is applied only in this blog list create view okay and uh, if i go to this uh, comment list then if i spam the request now you can see i am allowed to spam unlimited request because we have removed the throttling from this class okay so if i go to the blog list again now send the request 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay let me save this one your blog list create view am i logged in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay you can see the 10 request has been done and we got the error right so the throttling has only applied in this blog list view so by this you can allocate throttling to particular class okay or you can also allocate throttling to every class by allocating it globally okay so i hope you got idea about this one and in next video we are going to see custom throttling okay so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time thank you